Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today and welcome to affiliate marketing. And, um, you know, affiliate marketing is something that I did uh, in my career. I think I've done it for about a year or two years or something like that and had an absolutely great time with it, made quite a bit of money doing it. Um, and then I decided to do something else. So, you know, today we're going to be talking about affiliate marketing. We're going to be looking at what it is and how you can use it to, you know, work alongside your business. Lots of people do. And basically, you know, the impact that affiliate marketing can actually have on your business. So my name is Carol Allen and um, just want to welcome you all and say good afternoon to each one of you that are here today. Thank you so much. Um, for giving up the time today to invest in yourself. And I hope you have had a really good start to the week already. Um, so uh, my background is in further education and I've had various roles in further education. So I've got a um, you know further education background. I've also got a business background as well. So my last role in further education was a principal and um, I had an absolutely amazing time doing that. And then I decided that I wanted to do something else after 25 years and I decided that I wanted to start a couple of e-commerce stores. So I did. And I had a great time doing that as well. And then I decided that I wanted to do something different again. And that was where I went on to become a business and education transition coach for teachers, principals, um, admins, people that were in the teaching profession who wanted to uh, leave you know, the classroom and start their own businesses. So that's basically what I did uh, for a while. So the very first business that I started was back in 2006. And that was a training school. Uh, that was where I was teaching post-16 students, molecular science. And then I went on to um, work with government contracts as well as private contractors as well. So I had a great uh, career and still having a great time right now because I'm here delivering this webinar for wonderful people like yourself. So that's a little bit about me. Now, a bit about Wenta. Wenta has been around for 40 years this year and um, we've been celebrating the you know, the fact that we've been in business for 40 years, it's a long, long time. So we're celebrating and doing lots, um, you know, that we've been doing. We went down to London to the House of Parliament not too long ago. To Some of us went to, you know, uh, met the MPs there. We're doing other things around um, winter itself. And we're, you know, going to a a meal. Um, we'll be going to a meal very soon coming up in November. And then there's other things there that we're doing as well. So um, we have got offices in Stevenage, Enfield, Watford and Potter's Bar. So if you're looking to rent an office of some kind, um, though, these are the areas that we're actually in. <coughs> Excuse me. So we rent out virtual desks. We rent out um, offices, workshops, and all our car parking facilities are completely free. So we offer a mailing service, which ranges from £45 to about £58, depending on which mailing service you require. There's a standard and an advanced one. Um, and we offer a virtual address as well for £13 plus VAT. So if you're looking for an address, um, you know, that you can use for your business, then our virtual addresses is what you can use. Thirteen pounds plus VAT just makes uh, gives you more of a professional profile. Um, you know when you're putting your business out there and you've got to put an address there. So that's the kind of thing that we offer. So you can speak to our um, team here at any of our winter sites to find out how you can sign up for a virtual address. So we're a, a social enterprise. We are a not-for-profit company and we also plow all of our profits back into the business. That's what we do. So, you know, it's really, really important that, um, you know, everything that we do here is offer to you, the small business owner, you know, the most important people. We want to offer you that, you know, excellence, um, you know, that we stand for here at Wenta. So in everything that we do, that is. So we've also, all our business own uh, business advisors, we are all also net zero specialists. 
So we are, uh, we've been trained in net zero. Now, what is net zero? Net zero is where, um, you know, it's all to do with reducing the carbon emissions in the environment. We're trained in this area where we walk businesses through hand in hand to show you how you can do that in your business. This is the direction that a lot of businesses are going in right now. They're going, they want to know, right, how can we reduce the carbon emissions? How can we have a more cleaner, greener kind of environment, um, you know, that we're working from in our business. That's, this is what a lot of business owners want to know. This is what we help you to do. So we have created a 40 subscription, which you can see over on our website at winter.co.uk. Click on the button on the menu bar that says um, uh, net zero for my business. And scroll down, you'll see a bronze, a silver, a gold and a gold plus subscription right there. The bronze is completely free. We're offering that to all of our business owners for free. Um, like I say, it's our 40th year. We're celebrating. So we're giving away quite a lot. And um, from the paid subscription, which is silver right down to the gold plus, um, you know, each level becomes a bit more advanced. So the bronze in the bronze, you'll get some free resources and um, some training videos as well. And from the silver right down to the gold plus, it will just get better and better. And there's a lot more in each section um, that you can benefit from. So when you do get a break, we'll be taking one break throughout this session today. Um, where you can go and have a look at what's going on um, on our website with Net Zero. So, and the second product that we launched last year was called Savings. And Savings is where we have partnered with um, various different types of companies to be able to offer you, the small business owner, a comprehensive service. So what we have done, um, we'll, we, we've partnered with people who can offer you a, um, you know, website building service, tax accountants, um, insurance brokers, uh, marketers, uh, there's different types of, um, you know, companies there that will benefit you. Um, so have a look when you do get a minute and see, you know, if there's someone there that you would like to use, because um, as we're talking about affiliate marketing, we have got the affiliate links for each one of these companies that I'm telling you about. So when you click on the link and you go through and you decide to purchase their service, then we get a commission for doing that. So that's what affiliate marketing is. And it's quite ironic that I'm talking to you about this and, and we are de I'm delivering, um, you know, I'm about to deliver the aff affiliate marketing webinar. So that's very interesting, isn't it? So that's how it works anyway. Uh, so do go and have a look. And when you do go through, you will get a discount as well because you've come through winter. So Jasmine's saying, lovely to join a session with you today. Excited to be here and learn more about affiliate marketing. Thank you so much, Jasmine. It's lovely to have you here as well. Um, let me know in the chat. Hello, Candice, where you are all coming from. Um, I know Candice is from the UK. Um, have we got anyone here that is outside of the UK in a different country or what area of the UK are you in? Let me know in the chat. And also, if you can let me know as well, where are you on your business journey? Are you at the pre-start level? So it's the idea, but you don't really know what's what um, or what you're, you're going to be doing. Or are you at that stage where you've just started and now you just want to you know, keep growing that business? Or are you an established business? So where are you on your business journey? I'm just going to look at the chat and see where people are coming from. OK, so Nicola. Hi, Nicola. Nicola says from Essex. Um, Kiri is from Essex. Do you pair know each other, Nicola and Kiri? Because you're both from Essex. So V Sharma says Milton Keynes. Grace says Hoddenson.uk. Um, is, is that an area, Grace? Hoddenson. Um, Carl, Carl says Yorkshire. Oh, OK, that's interesting then. So um, where are you on your business journey? Thank you so much for letting me know where you are. 
uh, where you're from. So Nicholas says pre-start, hoping to start selling in November. That'll be a great time, Nicola, just um, in time for Christmas. So V Sharma says growing. Grace says Hertfordshire near Stansted. Um, yes. Okay. That's great. So where, um, where are you all on your business journey? Let me know in the chat because that will be really um, interesting to know where you're at so that, you know, I can position this particular webinar um, to make it relatable as much as possible to what, where you're at. So Marie said she's in Leicester. I love Leicester, Marie. That's one of the places that I always said that I would probably live. Um, so Kiri says, already launched, establishing my advertising campaign. Okay, that's great. Is there anyone here that has got an e-commerce business or um, anyone that is focused on offering a service? So Kiri, what kind of business are you doing? Um, Marie, what's the idea? Grace, let me know if you're at the pre-start level, what are your ideas? So now I'm going to take myself off the screen. So you will see um, the slides, but and you'll hear my voice, but you won't actually see my face, okay? So Grace says, started trying to get steady stream of clients. Okay, that's great. Congratulations on starting, Grace. Um, v Sharma says, selling stationary, stationary online. Okay, that's great. Is it like a... Um, what kind of stationer is it? Is it something that you're, you've created yourself? Is it for children? Is it for adults? Is it for everybody? I don't know. That would be great to know. Um, so Marie says artistic products. That sounds really interesting. Uh, Nicola says homemade and personalized products. What kind of products is it that you're um, uh, considering, Nicola? Homemade and personalized. Is that personalized um like key rings and things like that and marie you said artistic products is that like paintings and sculptures and things like that so that would be interesting so v sharma says for everyone um let me see what you said you were doing again v so v what are you selling did you tell me what you were selling um so you would need to really think about who your ideal clients are. So Marie says it's lighting. Okay, great. Grace says I have two businesses. One is a pre-start selling fabric notebooks. That sounds really interesting. And then service, uh, notebooks and services. And oh, the service one is payroll management virtual assistant. Oh, I see. Okay, that's really good. That's and the two kind of go hand in hand. So that's really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So let's continue to move forward. So what is affiliate marketing? And this is what we're saying affiliate marketing is. So affiliate marketing, it's the process of uh, a marketing arrangement that two people are going to have. And those two people, one will be the person who's got the, mark, the affiliate link and the other is the person who um, will be promoting that link. So it's an arrangement between the two people. So it's when someone promotes another company's products. So when you go to our website and you see the menu bar that says savings, we are actually promoting um, those products that you see in the three bundles. So Wenta's promoting these. 
So we have got an affiliate link for these all these different companies. So everyone that goes through, we actually get a commission for that. So that's what affiliate marketing is. And some people will run a full-time affiliate marketing business. Others will also run a part-time business. So some people are doing it as a side hustle. Other people are doing it as a full business, a proper um, full-time business. So, you know, and those who are doing it as a full-time business are marketing, they're an affiliate marketer for more than one company and more than one product. So it's a great business to start, especially when you don't have a lot of money. Um, you know, so, you know, I've heard people say, well, can people have asked the question many, many, many times. Can you start a business with no money? What my answer is always, you can't start a business with zero money, but you can start a business with very little money. Does that make sense? So you need some money to be able to promote whatever it is that you're promoting, um, you know, even if you need a website, you still got to organize and pay to get the website sorted out and up and running. So, you know, but you can start a business with very little. So, you know, that's a, just a bit of a slight difference there. So, you know, affiliate marketing, really, it's all about making sure that the right person gets paid for the sale. And this is why there is a link. That link will link the sale specifically to that person. And, you know, um, it's all about ensuring that that unique link is given specifically to that person. You, any one of you here today can actually start a business and that business takes off and does really well. And then you decide to promote your business as a business that's also offering an affiliate link. It's possible for you to do that today, you know, and this is this is what happens if you have a successful business that's doing really well. Um, that's what you can actually do. You know, you can get people to promote your links and then they will become an affiliate for your company. And that's how it works. So when a visitor clicks on the link, um, a cookie is stored on their device. And that cookie, um, you know, can be on the device for up to 24 hours. Um, you know, I know with Amazon, it's up to 24 hours and, and, and then, you know, the advertisers will get paid. So you can be an affiliate marketer for um, eBay, um, you know, for uh, Amazon, for GoDaddy, for, um, you know, Namecheap, um, anybody you can be an affiliate marketer for. And a lot of people do it as a side hustle. So it's possible, um, you know, as I said, to start a business like this with very little money, um, you know, because this can be done by you leveraging existing relationships. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, here at Wenta, some of our clients that we have have got huge following of people. Some of them, you know, have got 15,000, 20,000 people that are following them on um, uh, Instagram. One of our, there's a lady who that attends many of our webinars. She's got a following of 75,000 people on LinkedIn. And she did that within less than two years. So, you know, if you have got a huge following of people, then it's worth your while becoming an affiliate marketer because you can market your links to them if whatever it is that you're marketing your link resonates with them. So if I had a huge following, that's what I would do. So is there anyone here today that has got a huge following of people? So hello, Angelique. Nice to see you here today. Um, I've just noticed that some other people have come on. Hello, Mila, Ng, 
Um, William, nice to see you here. So affiliate marketing, it's the way forward and it's what a lot of people are doing right now. Um, I'll be honest with you, when you um, do become an affiliate marketer, it really isn't for the faint hearted. If it's something that you're going to be planning to do as a full time, uh, you know, career, then you're going to have to be patient, patient with how you do this. You're going to have to be consistent, determined and have some great strategies in place to be able to help you to become very successful. So, you know, um, it's not something that you it's not a get rich quick type of thing. Uh, you know, you don't start making a million pounds the next day. It doesn't work like that at all. Uh, it's something that you have to build the momentum for. And when you do do affiliate marketing, it's better to have a good following of people, at least 500 to 1,000 people, um, you know, before you really become an affiliate marketer, because uh, you're, remember, you're promoting your link to people. And if you've only got like 100 people following you, then there's not really a lot of people to promote your links to because it's the algorithm that is going to draw people to your link. And if there's not a lot of people to draw to your link, then the algorithm won't have a lot of work to do and it won't do it. So that's why I said you need several hundreds of people before you decide, right, affiliate marketing is going to be a great way forward um, for your business. So let's have a look at the different types of affiliate marketing. And these are the three types. You have the unattached, you have the related and you have the involved. And I'm going to explain how each one works because they're all different. So affiliates, when we talk about affiliates, um, affiliates are people that are essentially the middleman. So you are the person that sits between the customer as well as the person who's uh, link it is that that person is promoting. So you're sitting between the merchant, who's the person who owns the link, and the customer. So you are the one in the middle that's promoting on behalf of the merchant, but you're promoting something that the customer needs or wants. So three different types of affiliates. Um, and they fall into different categories. And it's it's wise really to promote the products that I would say are high ticket. If you're going to put a lot of effort into promoting something, why not promote something that is going to be of value and that's going to bring you a higher rate of return? Does that make sense? Let me know. Um, would that be more where what you would want to do? Would you want to promote something that's low valued or would you want to promote something that's high valued? Let me know in the chat. Um, or would you want to get as much commission as you possibly can or as little? Which would you prefer? So I've put that out there to each one of you. What would you prefer to earn more money or less money? Um, you know, and that will depend on what you promote. So my recommendation is always to promote something that is high ticket so that you can get a higher rate of return. So let's break down each one of these um, types of affiliate so that you can see. So Candice is saying more money and less volume. I totally agree. That makes more sense, don't it, Candice? Thank you for responding to that. And I want the rest of you to do stay engaged and do ask your questions because this is the right time to ask those pressing questions while we're here live on the webinar. So with the unattached affiliate marketer, um, you know, there's not really any legwork to be done beforehand. So some affiliate marketers don't have the time or even the desire to build a relationship with the products that they're promoting. They don't have the time, um, you know, so 
and remember some people are doing this full time so they're into lots of different types of um uh products that they're promoting so some people have 30 products 40 products um you know they're, they're, that they're promoting all at the same time so they don't have the time to build a great relationship because for them it's about turning over money very quickly so you know this is what you call the unattached they they're not attached to the product itself so you know um the the three most popular types of unattached affiliates are people who um are promoting anything where it's a paper sale so you see it and uh every time you know someone's uh pays for something and they and you get the sale then you're you know you're there's going to be a commission for you so paper sale is one type of unattached affiliate marketing and paper lead so you could be an affiliate for um uh for social media platforms like facebook and linkedin and so on and you could be promoting their uh, advertising you know campaigns so when they advertise themselves, you could be promoting that. And, you know, an att unattached affiliate is either a pay per sale or a pay per lead um, or a cost per action. So anyone who makes a, a takes an action on anything that, you know, a platform, say, is promoting and you're you're the one that's promoting that platform, then you can get paid either pay per sale, pay per lead or a cost per action, any actions that someone takes. So all these are classes unattached. You're not attached to the product. You're very detached from it. So um, paper sale is the most common form of, uh, of um, affiliate marketing, and you can earn a percentage of the total sale. So let's just say that you're promoting something and you're getting paid for every sale that is made. You will get a percentage, whether it's 30% or 40% on that particular thing. Um, you know, so paper lead involves you earning a set amount for each lead generated, um, you know, by uh, the person who is running an ad or whatever it is that they're running. And cost per action, um, that's gonna pay an affiliate a set amount for each completed action. Some people will only pay you based on the action that a potential customer will take. Um, and that can be an action like signing up to a newsletter or signing up for a freebie on a website or filling out a form and answering some questions. You know, So you can get paid for an action that someone takes. It depends on the agreement that you've got with the merchant, the person whose link it is that you're promoting. But, you know, cost per action requires more effort um, from you, the affiliate marketer, um, but it pays the highest uh, commission, I would say. So, you know, think about, do I want to be an attached affiliate? Attached means you don't really have any relationship with the product that you're promoting or the service. So if you position your link in front of an audience um, that you've warmed up through content marketing, uh, they're more likely to click on your link. And this is why I'm saying if you have got a platform where you've got lots of people, then it's worth becoming an affiliate. Let me know if you have any questions that you would like to ask me around this. So it's a low strategy. You can build passive income. You know, there's no connection. So you don't feel, you know, passionate or emotional about the product because you're, you're just co totally cold to that. And a lot of people do this and it's quite OK. You know, there's nothing wrong with being an unattached affiliate if that's the kind of affiliate that you want to be, um, you know, so you don't need any skills. You don't need any expertise, um, you know, so and it works for a lot of people. So the related kind of affiliate marketer so this kind of person it's a little bit different 
because the affiliate can um, be an individual or a company uh, that markets the seller's products. So you're marketing the person who's selling and you're doing it in an appealing way. You're doing it in a way uh, where potential consumers can really get to like the product because you're emotionally, um, uh, you have a relationship, not a big one, but you, you feel good about talking about the product. So the affiliate promotes the products or persuade, you know, you um, will persuade your customers uh, to, to know that this is valuable, it's going to be beneficial to them. Um, you know, you could even probably tell them that you've used it once before if you have. And this is what many gurus do. They, a lot of people who are on six and seven and eight figures, we call them gurus in the online world. Um, you know, this is where they, you know, they talk about these kind of uh, products or services that they're promoting to someone that they know. So let me give you an example as well. Uh, and you can tell me whether you can resonate with this or not. Have you noticed that um, sometimes in your inbox, you will get an email where there is another person promoting somebody else's thing? Has anybody received those kind of emails? So you're in your email, um, you know, They'll, they'll talk about something, then all of a sudden they'll say, my friend so-and-so, um, you know, has got this, click the link to go and have a look, uh, you know, but they're, what they're doing is they have become affiliates for that friend. So now they're promote, promoting that friend's whatever it is that they're promoting. Um, so Candy says more money. Um, am I looking at the right one? Hang on. Yeah, Candy says, um, I do get loads of them once I sign up for free things. Yes, you do. And when you get them, what normally happens is they have various amounts of people that they are promoting. And they'll say to you, uh, click this link and watch this video. So you've signed up to them. They're selling one thing. But now they're saying to you to know more click this link. And when you click the link, it's somebody else that's promoting themselves on that video. And you're thinking, hang on a minute. Is this not Mary who's just sent me this link? But now I'm listening to Paul. And what it is, Mary, so to speak, as an example, is promoting. She's the affiliate marketer for what Paul is promoting. So if you buy from Paul, Mary gets a commission. That's how it works. So and a lot of people do this. It's a way of, um, it's what you call related affiliate marketing. So they can relate with the products, um, but they're still not really big sellers of the products. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But they can relate to the products. So that's, that's how it is. Um, you know, so the last one is called involved affiliate marketing. Now, all the um, affiliate marketing that I've ever done have always been the involved one. I've always been an involved affiliate marketer. It's the only way I could really sell the product, to be honest with you. Um, I would find it really difficult to sell something that I'm not using or something that I can't resonate with. Um, I would struggle with that. Whereas some people have not got a problem with that. They're really, um, they find that it's very easy to do. Um, so but the involved one is the one that I actually loved because um, I could resonate. I was I was a, in a group of several thousands of people and I used to promote marketing products. Now, those marketing products that I used to promote, I used to use them so I could resonate with how the performance of these products were. It wasn't a problem. It was a very easy sell for me. Um, and that's why I like the involved one. I got involved with the product. Very easy uh, to be able to sell it when you're using it. And you because then you can talk about all the things that it does when you're using it, isn't it? But if you're not using it and you're just trying to promote it, it's to me, it's harder. I don't know how you 
you know, would probably see that. But so companies, let me know on here if you've ever heard of the company called ClickFunnels. Anyone ever heard of ClickFunnels? Click funnels. Have you ever heard of it? Let me know. Okay, so Kiri says no. Jasmine says no, never. Candy says yes. Okay, let me tell you what click funnels does. Click funnels, um, they, cre they create landing pages. That's what they do. They create absolutely amazing um, funnels. So and I love click funnels. I used to, um, I spent one year buying click funnels landing pages. Their landing pages are very, very stylish. And that's what I really like about them. They're, they're, and, and, and the functionality of their landing pages looks really good online. So a lot of people love to use click funnels. And Click Funnels has got what we call the 500 comma club. So um, people that earn up to a million pounds promoting Click Funnels as an affiliate marketer, um, they will go into what you call the 500 comma club. So they earn a million pounds. They, they, Click Funnels will pay them a million because they have sold several millions of ClickFunnels as products. That's because they are involved with the products. They use the products. They love the products and they can resonate with the products. And a lot of these guys that use, not just guys, but ladies as well, um, that uses ClickFunnels. And I'm only using ClickFunnels as an example, just to give you an idea. When they use ClickFunnels as products, they have thousands and thousands of people following them. So the moment they say to these marketers and people that are following them, go and use ClickFunnels, what happens? Those people that are following them have now got influence. They're influenced by the people that are telling them to go and buy. And for, could you imagine if you've got a following of half a million people and then you tell them, this is what I'm using, ClickFunnels, it's great, it's this, it's that, go and buy. And could you imagine if 50,000 people out of that half a million went and bought? Let's peg it down a little bit. What if 30,000 people went and bought? That's 30,000 sales for that one person. Let's just say they were on 40% commission, or let's just say, let's say 50% commission that they were on, could you imagine the amount of money they would make across 30,000 people? This is why a lot of people online who are marketers go for the involved type of affiliate marketing. Why? Because they have huge followings and they know they can generate exceptionally good passive income. And when you sell a ClickFunnels product, um, and you can go and check this out online, online you will see ClickFunnels has got pricing that is from, I think their minimum pricing is £99, $99. And I think it goes up. Um, I don't know what the top tier is because they've changed their pricing structure but they had a 299 product and then they had a four, I think it was 499 product. Could you imagine getting 50% of 499 or whatever it is their top product is, even 50% of 299? So this is why I say it's a better idea to try and sell products that are higher premium value rather than the low ones, because the effort that you're going to make to sell the high premium is exactly the same as what you would do for, um, you know, the low. So um, Marie says, what is a typical um, commission? 40% um, between 30 and 40% is a typical commission that your merchant will offer you. And it will depend on what you're selling. If you're selling click funnels, 
uh, Russell Brunson, who's the owner of ClickFunnels, is very generous. And I think his affiliate commissions are anywhere between 40 and 50 percent. But he, he also does. He has what you call um, a hierarchy of commission. So depending on how much you sell will determine which banding you fall in for your percentage of commission. So let's just say you sell half a million pounds worth of these products. You'll probably fall into the higher banding for the commission. If you sell less than, and I'm only using this as an example, if you sell less than half a million, you'll probably fall into the lower. So he has different tiers that people hit. Well, if you've got a, if you've got thirty thousand people following you, you know, um, your commission is going to be very, very, very good. So you know, this is why a lot of people like to become the involved affiliate because they can say to their followers, well you know, I've been using this and my experience has been a great one and it's helped me to achieve this. It's helped me to grow my audience. It's helped me to speak to people in a more, um, you know, positive way. It's helped me to do this. It's helped. Me. And they can list all these great things. Why can they do that? Because they're using it. So, you know, there's other companies like MailChimp that has um, affiliate marketing, GoDaddy, Active Campaign, Lead Pages, Creative Market, get response. They all have thousands of people following them. So they put out their affiliate links to people who wants to promote their products. And another reason why companies do it, and it's a win-win situation, it's getting the name of the brand of that company out there through someone else's medium, someone else's platform. So it's a win-win that person's going to get passive income, a commission for doing it. The company whose uh, whose brand or product or link it is, they are being promoted elsewhere that they probably wouldn't reach that person's audience because they don't know that person that, that person's audience at all. So it's an amazing thing to do, and you can earn very good income from doing it. Um, but my recommendations would really be to go for a higher. Uh, price of product or service rather than the lower. So that would be my, my um, you know, my recommendation. So let me know if you have any questions around this. So how to start affiliate marketing with no money? Well, here's how you can do it. I would always say, look at where your passion lies. What are you passionate about? Because whatever it is that you're going to sell, because you can sell things that you've never sold before, or you can sell things that you're not passionate about. But the only thing I would say, if you're not passionate, that's going to come across in the way you sell. So I would say, look at your passion. Where does your interest lie? What are you interested in? Are you interested in, in things outdoors or indoors? Um, are you interested in, you know, fashion or skiing or um, traveling or, you know, what are your interests? And it's a good idea to list a, a, a number of different types of interests so that you can then begin to think, right, and, and then wheedle it all down and say, out of 10, this is the one that I really am interested in. You know, so do some brainstorming around it. You've got to make sure that in order to decide, do I want to be an affiliate marketer for this particular company, do your due diligence and I can't stress that enough, make sure that you look at that particular company's website, go and have a look at what they're selling, have a look at what customers say about their services, um, because anything that you're promoting, 
the customers that you will be promoting it to will go and have a look at these things. So you don't want them to beat you to it. You should know whether this company that you're promoting their product is a good one or not. What are people saying about them? You know, do you trust their websites? Do they have um, terms and conditions and refund and privacy policies on their websites? You know, do you see, um, do they look authentic and reputable? If they are and they're running an affiliate marketing program, then maybe you can approach them. But if you can see that people are complaining about them a lot, I would stay clear of that, of becoming an affiliate marketer for them. So look to see if they've got any trademarks and copyrights on their branding. You know, this will kind of give you a little bit of um, an idea whether they're an authentic company um, and are they serious about their brand identity? Because if they are, they will make sure that they offer a really good level of service. So in order for you to create great content, you'll need to know your ideal clients. Um, you need to know who your ideal clients are so that you know how you're going to market to them with no money. Look at their buying habits. You know, look at what they need. How urgently do they need this? You know, think about your ideal clients. Your Because any website that you create as an affiliate, affiliate marketer needs to speak directly to your ideal clients. So you want to create something that is going to grab the attention of your particular ideal client very quickly. So what do I mean by that? Well, whatever link you're promoting, you're going to have to market it, aren't you? You're going to have to get that link in front of people. So in order to get that link in front of people, you're going to have to have something uh, that resonates with them on the front end that's going to attract their attention. So that could be a video that you have done and uploaded to social media and you're talking about something. So let me give you an example. Let's just use weight loss as an example. Let's just say that you are promoting a supplement that is going to help people to lose weight um, in a short space of time. So every con piece of content that you put out there is going to be talking about what the supplement can do. So it helps to give them more energy. It helps them to stay more focused. Um, it helps them to, to have clearer ways of thinking. Um, the supplement's going to help to uh, lose weight. It's going to help you to sustain the weight once it comes off. And it does this and it does that. You need to have some kind of a video uh, that's telling people about what this supplement would do so that you have got their attention. And then you need to stimulate their desires. So you now need to talk to them about, you know, what can this particular supplement do for them? So the more you talk about all the benefits is the more you're going to stimulate the interest. And then from the interest, they're going to begin to feel like they're desiring this product. They're going to begin to believe in their minds and in, their, in themselves. I really want this product now. I've heard so much about it. And the desire gets so strong that they decide to take the action and buy it. The moment someone clicks on your link and makes a purchase, you are going to get a commission. And, and that's, that's the way it works. Let me know if you've got any questions. So that's the way it actually works. So it's important that um, you've got the right marketing strategies in place and that you're very consistent. Consistency here is the key. That's what's going to really help you to um, really sell promote your link without you, you even having to sell it. So you want to have what we call a sell without selling approach. You know, so you're going to sell, you're going to serve with ease, but serve with, sell with grace, serve with ease and sell with grace. That's what you're going to do.
So you don't want to be pushing your links at people. Let people relax and make up their own minds. People are super intelligent and they know exactly what they want. So you've just got to just, you know, create the right kind of content. We've got a webinar called Content Marketing. Uh, that would be a really good webinar for you to go and watch because on that webinar, um, we break down for you step by step how you create the right content and how you put it out there and how you market it to your ideal clients. It's worth a watch. So a typical affiliate marketing model looks like this. You join a program, you're told what to promote. They don't tell you how to promote it. They just tell you to join the program and they give you the, the products or the services to promote. It's up to you now to get creative and decide exactly how you're gonna do this. So then when you start promoting it, a customer makes a purchase and then the person whose link it is, they track the sales. Remember, there's cookies attached to that link. So they will be able to tell that the sale has come through you. And then that person earns a commission. So that's how it works. It's a very straightforward program. And this is why a lot of people use it uh, for passive income. But how cool would it be if you can actually earn £2,000 a month extra? Tell me in the chat, what would £2,000 per month extra mean to you if you could earn this through running a, an affiliate marketing um, business? What would it mean to you? Could you do with an extra couple of grand or even an extra thousand? So let me know in the chat, would that benefit you? I remember my very first check um, that came through for affiliate marketing. I think it was just a few um, uh, pounds less of a thousand. That was my very, very first check. And, you know, the company that gives you the check, that sends you the check, it comes from America. They send you the checks every single month, every month. So it would be great. It would be lovely. I don't think there's anybody here that can say that a thousand or two thousand would not do them well extra per month. Um, so Candy says it would pay off her debt and it would be nice and extra money to spend on wants and not needs. Absolutely. Totally agree. And um, Jasmine says, um, it would make life a lot easier and the ability to get on with our creative business and development, freeing up time. I hope to find ways um, to the affiliate marketing route. Well, you've got to choose something that you're passionate about, I would say, Jasmine, um, something that you can get behind uh, and decide which one do you want to be. Do you want to be the unattached, the related or, you know, the involved? Which one do you want to be? So Grace says, freedom to explore creative projects and travel for inspiration. Um, and Jasmine said, yes. So I would agree um, that it's a great thing to have as another way of earning passive income. Uh, so have a look and see what's out there. What do you like? Are you interested in fashion or makeup? You know, there's so many people promoting makeup brands and they're doing it as an affiliate. Um, you know, they they create a website, they put all the different types of makeup. We've got a client who is promoting her makeup on eBay and she's doing it as an affiliate and she's selling a lot of it. So therefore, she's making very good commissions for doing it. So decide what you're passionate about. Marie says, where do you find the companies that need affiliate marketing? Um, here's one company. I'm going to put it in the chat for you now. They're called ClickBank. So it's in the chat, ClickBank. Um, ClickBank is a marketplace. You can go there and decide, right, what, they have thousands of products. So, you know, just don't get yourself stressed about being on there. There's a lot. 
uh, just choose a niche and decide what you like. Okay, we are at the top of the first hour um, and it's going to be the only one that we'll be taking a break on right now. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Um, please do not close down your computers. Just pause and I will see you shortly.
Okay, I hope you've been refreshed. Um, so this will be our only break that we'll be taking today because we're going to aim to conclude at around four. So why start an affiliate marketing business? So for different people, it's going to be different reasons. Um, but the general reason is, you know, when you're starting up a, a business that's not an affiliate business, you can end up spending a lot of money, um, you know, just to get it started. So you've got to think about, you know, the fact that you'll be saving a lot of money by starting a, an affiliate marketing business. It's very, very low risk. You know, you're not putting any money up for inventory or anything like that. So um, you're not buying the products or the, you're not creating the services. You know, you've not got to um, create the, the product or market them in a, a, a way that is going to cost you a lot of money. All you really need is to have people following you and be very creative with how you promote the link. And we're going to look at how to promote the link as well. We're going to look at that because the, there's a way of how you do it. And one of the other benefits I would say is that you can actually uh, speak to anybody in the world. So you can actually start an affiliate business um, and sell lots of different products for different companies and talk to anyone across the world. So some people like that aspect of it. Um, you know, for other people, it's just all about the money. But I personally think if you can sell something that you've... Um, either used or you're aware of or you know that it works to me you can leverage that more than if you've never sold it um, or you've never used it and you don't really have any kind of connection with it how, how can you tell someone that it works when you've never really connected with it or you don't know of the fact that it does work um, so You've got to ask yourself that question. So affiliate links will need to be wrapped up. You've got to wrap them up. How do you wrap them up? You wrap them up in your blogs, in articles, in websites. And you do this to prevent spamming. Because a lot of people are very conscious of the fact that there's a lot of um, companies out there that are spamming people with their links. Well, if you are caught on any platform, if the algorithm picks it up, then you're going to have a problem because you could, you know, be, um, they could close down your account. If you're on Facebook, they could close down your account or on LinkedIn and Facebook can put you in what we call Facebook jail. Yes. Facebook does have a jail that they put people in, and you can be in jail for a week or a month or however long. It's entirely up to them how long they put you in jail for. So when you're in jail, you cannot, um, you can see your products and your services that are advertised online, but you can't go in and touch any of it. Uh, anything you try to do on the platform your mouse will not work. When you go to click on something, it will not move it because Facebook has locked you out. So they're kind of indirectly teasing you and slapping your hands as though to say, you naughty boy or naughty girl. They, they allow you to see your own page. They can see that people are coming on your page and everything, but they won't allow you to do anything on your page. So that's what they do. And it can be quite painful, especially if you're running a campaign and you're trying to make money and all of a sudden they've locked you down for a month. That's going to be really, really a difficult thing for you. 
So that's how you wrap up your links. Wrap it up in a blog, in an article or on a website. So what do you need to get started? So here's what you need. And it's important that you create um, the relevant content because you still have some work to do. Becoming an affiliate marketer isn't just a matter of going to, you know, to ClickBank, which is the marketplace for affiliate marketers and getting something to promote. You've got some work to do. You've got to still create the content, the posts to attract your ideal clients to that link. You've still got to create a way of how you're going to bring them to either your blog, your articles or your websites so that they will now see that you're promoting something. So, and there's lots of people out there. I used to be part of this group where they were selling supplements. They were selling, um, it was fruit supplements, but these fruit supplements uh, aided weight loss. So they had all these natural fruits in them, but they you'd have to take that and the powders and everything, and it aided weight loss. I used to be in a group, and I've never sold the products, but I was in their group because I wanted to see what was going on. And um, they would then, what would happen for every one of those products that they sold, there was always an upsell. So let's just say they were promoting these fruit supplements. All of a sudden they would also upsell you to the powders. Now, the powders were energy boosters to give you more energy. So the, the, the gummies, as they were, um, the fruit supplements, they were what was going to aid the weight loss. But not only were you going to lose weight, you'd need the powder with it so that you would now have that energy, you know, that boost. And this is what they used to do. So this is what people do when they're, they're an affiliate marketing for companies. They're looking at how they can sell more to one person. So you can also, in knowing how to get started, you can also um, create how-to PDFs or how-to videos on YouTube. And then you have a link that links out. How many times have you gone on YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and you've seen people that are promoting some kind of whatever it is, makeup, hair, um, you know, nails, whatever it is that they're promoting. And they'll say that or someone's lost weight and they'll say, well, you know, I ate this once a day or something like that. And they'll say, if you want to know where you can buy this, I've got a link in, um, you know, down below in the chat. Just click the link and you'll see it there. That's what you call affiliate marketing. They're selling through the links. So whenever you see that anywhere, you know they're getting a commission for whatever it is they sell. It's a bit like um, on YouTube, there's a lot of people uh, talking about different um types of brushes that you can use for hair and then they'll say if you want to know where you can buy this brush the link for this is in 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 the uh, in the chat go if you go down you'll see the link down below and really what they're doing is promoting the hairbrush and because they've got all these thousands of people following them these thousands of people are thinking well that using that hairbrush makes your hair look absolutely fantastic i'm going to go and buy it and for every one of those sales that person's getting between 30 and 50%. So that's how it works. You need the following and you can easily build the following and then start to promote something that resonates with your audience. So always give the customer a call to action. Um, and it's important to note that if you don't have a social media following, get in the right traffic and the leads, you, you know, you've got to be very consistent um, otherwise getting the right traffic and leads isn't going to uh, be very consistent for you. So you've just got to make sure that you're, you, you've, you've got the meet the following, you've got the right people following you because with the right people following you, and to be honest, you could have 
500 people following you and 495 of those are not your ideal clients, only five. But you could make, you know, some money with those five people. And I've sat in groups of over 36,000 people and hardly anybody comments or engages. That's not good. That tells me that the majority of the people in that group is not the right people because the right people always comments and engages. They always have something to ask. So this is what I've noticed in groups. So although I'm saying you need about 500 to 1,000, they need to be the right kind of people, not just any old body, not you, you know, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your auntie, your grandma, your uncle, your niece, your nephew. You know, those aren't the right people. The right people are people who need that particular product or service that you're promoting. And then you've also got to think about, um, you know, you running social media ads, um, you know, that's good. That's going to help boost your brand. Um, ads are expensive. So if you don't have uh, the right kind of people following you, then your ads are going to be you're going to be burning a lot of money on your ads. Do I need a niche? This is a question that we get asked all the time. And I'll allow you to just um, I'll give you the time to read this. So you can think about, do I need to have a niche? So do you need a niche? Well, let me tell you what the benefits are. So having a niche is going to help you to stand out from your competition. I'll tell you that now. Uh, if you're going to sell general products, so a bit of everything, it's going to re be really hard for you as an affiliate to pinpoint a client. Because a lot of what you might have to sell, the clients that you're targeting probably won't like those things. So it's going to be hard for you to nail down a client. Whereas if you're selling something specifically, it's easier to nail down the kind of client that you want to attract. So Jasmine says, this is what I struggle with as I have many interests and don't know how to pinpoint a niche. Well, that's a really good statement to make, Jasmine. So it goes back to what I'd asked originally. What are you passionate about? Do you like indoors or outdoors? Um, do you like services or products? If you're more into product, what do you enjoy being around um you know products there's lots that you could sell do you like jewelry do you like hair products do you like makeup do you like clothes um let's break it down a bit further do you like shoes do you like handbags do you like dogs you know i used to own a dog store selling posh dog clothes to to lots of people in america you know do you own um you know digital assets is there something that you think that you can like some people own a great mobile phone and they're very interested in mobile phones and that's what they want to sell because they're passionate about their, their their phone and they feel that they can talk about you know a phone all day so what are you passionate about so if you're passionate about the arts, so she's saying that I'm passionate about the arts. I'm very much interested in um, sustainably led brands. Yes, I like makeup. I like clothes. I like all those things. I love animals. I love commercial stuff, but I also love nature. So maybe you might want to sell something 
um, that people need for outdoors. It could be boots, something as simple as that. It could be jackets, you know, thick winter jackets. Maybe you can get yourself behind that. I don't know. Um, maybe it could be coats for women or something. Nice, fashionable, trendy, stylish coats for women um, for the outdoors. And if you like, um, uh, she says, yes, I love regatta outdoor wear. Maybe you can get behind that brand. Have you got a regatta? I mean, can you resonate with that uh, and why you should sell it to people? Do they does their products come with a high premium quality of of the way it's made? I don't know. You know, so decide and this you've it's a decision you know you've got to make a decision this is what i like this is what i'm going to put myself behind and this is what i'm going to promote it's a decision so you've got to if it's the arts then can you find um something arty that you can put your yourself behind you can throw yourself right behind that but you're going to need a following that of people who love art to be able to sell the art to them. So and this is why I say you've got some work to do. All of you, you've got some work to do. So affiliate marketing isn't you just see the product, you choose the product and then within a day you're going to earn a thousand pounds. It doesn't work like that. You've got to promote the thing and do the work. So you've got to do some work. So um, right, so Jasmine saying, uh, da, 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 da. I've got some lovely Orla Keeley wellies and waterproofs and matching tent. They have a lovely product range um, from a great designer. I have felt inspired by. I don't know if this would work. Um, think this has got me thinking. So have a look you can do some research go into google and put into google what's it called orla keely wellies and see um how many people actually makes a purchase on these google collects and stores the data so google will tell you how many people have bought the orla keely wellies i've never heard of them um, but I'm sure millions of people have. So how many millions of people have actually made the purchase? That will tell you whether you've got a product that can sell or not. And then it's a matter of you putting yourself behind that brand and promoting that brand. You'd need to create a, a kind of a website with all these different wellies on. Maybe these wellies, you could potentially sell them to farmers or people who have a farm or people who work in the outdoors and or out in the countryside, that kind of thing. So um, Candice is saying, very good ideas, some food for thought, because I was also battling with thinking on starting the selection of my niche with affiliate marketing. Yes, you can do. So research and find out, um, you know, and see what you really like. It could be that you realise um, because I've got a client who is, I think she's probably earning at least a couple of thousand pounds each month just by selling makeup online. She sells makeup, foundation, lipstick, um, you know, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner. Uh, you know, she sells all these types of things and she's, she's, she's earning and she does it through eBay um, she's an affiliate for, for this makeup company and she does really well. She does very, very well, you know, and that's why I asked earlier on, what could a couple of thousand, a thousand or two do to change, you know, your life for some people that would be nothing for a lot of people. That's a big thing. An extra couple of thousand pounds would do me nicely. Thank you very much. So, you know, um, think about this is how you've got to be looking and thinking about it it's it's what you're passionate about because if you're going to sell something that you're not passionate about 
then you'll lose interest very quickly. But when you're passionate about it and you can demonstrate how the, the impact it's going to have on people and how it works and all of people will love that. You could create some great videos for, for TikTok and, and go over there and, and promote your niche. You know, so I would highly recommend that you have a niche um, because having a niche means that you're you can be specific and target one kind of person instead of trying to target lots of people who probably won't even respond. So how to find, choose and qualify your niche. So this is what you have to do. So this is a way of doing it. So this will help you to qualify and choose your niche. So you find a niche, find one that you can expand in. What do I mean by that? Find one that has other things in it that you can sell. So let me give you an example. And this is only an example. Let's just say you're going to work in the sleep niche. In the sleep niche, um, you know, you're going to find bedding. You're going to find um, pillows and, and sheets. And, um, you know, maybe you'll have certain curtains that have got um, a dark backing so that when you close the curtains, uh, the light's not coming through. Um, you know, you're going to have nice furniture, so a nice bed head. All of this is to do with the sleep niche. You know, um, you may you might be probably have a, a bedroom chair at the side of your bed or maybe your, um, what do you call them, your side lamps or maybe your little side table that the lamp sits on. And um, again, you, you, it's your, you're bringing in the bedding, you're bringing in the furniture, and it's all part of you having a nice, comfortable sleep. It could be that, you know, you're going to get behind certain types of organic and thermal type of materials for the sheets that you're selling. You know, and, and lots of people sell, uh, which I'll tell you which one is quite popular now, bamboo sheets, bamboo sheets, because people consider them to be very organic. Um, they're good for people who have got asthma. So it reduces whatever it is that, you know, causes people to uh, for their asthma to flare up. That's why people who have got asthma go for bamboo sheets now if they can afford it. So. And this is what I mean by think about a niche that you can expand in. If you're going to sell welly boots, what else can you sell to go with welly boots? Well, maybe a coat, you know, those raincoats, um, maybe the rain hat, maybe a type of an umbrella made out of a certain thing. I don't know. Um, so maybe there's things within the welly boots niche that you can expand and have an upsell too. I don't know. So, you know, but write down your desired niche and brainstorm the ideas and then decide what you're really passionate about. So what's the best way to promote your affiliate link? And earlier on, I've spoken about that. You know, is there anyone on here that loves to write? Do you enjoy writing? Because if you enjoy writing... Um, putting your links into an article or a blog won't be a problem for you. Now, if you don't enjoy writing, you can create a website and put the links on your website for someone to click to that link to go here or go there. So, well, if you, uh, Grace says, I love making presentations and you can link out to uh, your product. So let's just say you're doing a presentation, um, Grace, and you're talking about something in relation to what you're promoting. You could say to them, here is the link for this particular product. If you click here, um, it will take you straight through to the product. So you can put links in your presentation. And you will see in a lot of our presentations, we've got links where we've linked out to things. So you can do it that way. 
um, through your website, through an article, through a blog. And that's how you wrap up and hide your link without it being spammy. So what are the pros and cons of being an affiliate marketer? So I'll give you the opportunity to write, uh, to read this. So the pros and cons of being an affiliate marketer. In other words, the ups and the downs. So we've stated it's more or less a done for your business because you don't have to do anything in terms of creating the product or the service. That's all done for you. The, the person whose link it is, who's, who you're promoting it on behalf of, they're the ones that's had all the headaches to create the product and the service. You know, it's easy to get started. It's very low cost. You don't need any members of staff or anything like that. Um, you know, you can select a niche, but you can also have a situation where you are selling a lot of people's products. So you could be an affiliate marketer for several people. Now, if that's the case, you're going to have to figure out how are you going to market all of that and how you're going to measure it. So what people often do they often have what they can manage. They often work with the amount of companies they can manage. They, you know, a sensible person wouldn't go for 30 different products because you'd have to be promoting 30 different products. And if your website didn't, if you had a general website, you could take one product off the website and promote it to a specific niche. That's the way to do it. So you can have a general product site, take one product off and promote that to a particular ideal um, client. That's, that's the best way to do it, rather than to try and promote everything on your, your website to, well, I don't even know who you'd promote it to because I don't think people would want everything on there. So it would be a bit confusing. It would be hard to do. So just promote your links, wrap them up, um, you know, in your presentation, in your blogs, wherever it is that you're wrapping them up and promote them to the right people. So let's um, have a look at the cons. So if you are going to run Facebook ads or any form of ads, it's going to be expensive and it would be even more expensive if you don't have the right people following you. Because any ads that you promote, they are, Facebook is going to include the people that are following you. And if the people who are following you are not the right kind of people, what Facebook will do is they, when you do run your ads, they'll reflect the kind of people that are already following you. If they're not the right people, that means your ads are going to go to not the right people because the algorithm will reflect whatever it is, um, the type of people that you already have following you. So this is how you've got to look at it. So the best product categories to source, and I'll just give you a moment to read this. And I've spoken about high ticket products um, earlier on. High ticket products that have got a very high demand is the way to go. And I've given you a list of what some high ticket products can look like. So high ticket products can be anything that's reoccurring. So a membership. You know, you could promote a membership because, you know, every single month that person's going to um, pay for that membership. You know, tech products, computers, phones, there's lots of um, young men out there that love um, to promote phones because they love being on their phone. So they're passionate about promoting these products and they're doing very well selling them. 
I've spoken about makeup. Makeup is one of the biggest things right now that people are selling online. And, you know, lots of young girls and young women have got a makeup channel on YouTube. Um, and this is another thing. You can set up your channels just to promote the product that you're selling as an affiliate. And, you know, earlier on, I said for some people that this is a full time job because they're promoting more than one product and they have following people following them in each area of where they're promoting. So it's, you know, people are making thousands of pounds of a, a, a full income, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 pounds per year, just doing um, affiliate marketing. But these are people that are in it for full time, you know, even part time. When I was doing it, I was doing it. Um, I started off full time, um, you know, and I could earn a thousand pounds in a day if I um, played my cards right, meaning that I was targeting the right people. The first check that I got, um, and that was for a day's work, that was a thousand pounds. So, you know, you can, it's not difficult. You've just got to make sure that you target the right people, you do the right things in order to attract them, i.e. have the right content out there. Um, you know, you're making sure that you're uh, offering value. And this is what I mean by when I say you've still got to do the work. You can't just set up the business and think people are just going to come and buy and you get the check. It doesn't work like that. You've still got to um, put out the right content out there. You've still got to add the value. You've still got to set up your website. You've still got to promote your product. You've still got to build your brand. You've still got to do all those businessy things. Because if you don't do them, how are you going to promote your product? How are you going to do it? So, you know, marketers with a lot of influence, um, they tend to sell very high ticket products. And uh, click funnels is a very high ticket product. This is why a lot of marketers flock to sell it, because the commissions that they get runs into not thousands, but millions. And this is why they sell it. It's worth the sell. So, you know, whatever products you're looking for, make sure it's worth you promoting it. It's worth, it should be worth you putting your time and your energy into it. Hair, hair products are, you know, shampoos, conditioners, um, those kind of things. They sell really well, but they've got to be shampoos and conditioners that does particular things to your hair. So it's going to add volume. It's going to um, reduce the, uh, the static uh, way of how your hair behaves. It's going to do all sorts of things. You need to make sure it, it's doing something and people can see. You've got videos and examples of people going through and using these products to prove to the skeptics that this thing works. So these are just some things for you to think about. So how much commission is paid to an affiliate? And it depends on who you are an affiliate for. Um, like I said, if you're an affiliate for ClickFunnels, then your commission is going to be high. It's going to be more around the 50% mark. But if you're an affiliate for another company where their commissions are low anyway, then you're not going to get very much money for doing all of that hard work. So once you join a program, you'll generate a unique affiliate link. When someone clicks on that link, you're going to make and they make a purchase, you're going to get paid. Um, so the more clicks you get, are the more likely the conversions. But remember, if you're doing the unattached affiliate marketing, sometimes they will pay you just on the clicks. So it just depends. So it's important to know that 
you know, your revenue must exceed your costs to be profitable. Um, and there's no lim limit really on what you can earn. Not, no limit at all. So it's going to come down to you. Um, you know, you've just got to be consistent, committed and determined to succeed as an affiliate marketer. So how to make commissions, and this is a way of how you can do it. You need a website and that website needs to speak directly to your, your ideal client. Uh, we've got a content marketing webinar, which I highly recommend that you uh, sign up to. We've also got a website development webinar. I highly recommend that one as well. Um, you know, so and we've got a marketing webinar. So there's three great webinars there to show you, um, you know, how you can create a great website and market it as well. So you want to make sure that you've got some attention grabbing posts um, and they need to have powerful headlines and they've got to capture your audience interest quickly because online your audience have only got a three second attention span. That's it. So Marie says, when you say clicks, is that a sale or a click? It's a click. Some um, merchants, the people whose link you're promoting, they will pay you based on a click. We've got, um, if you go to our winter.co.uk website and click on savings, scroll down to the feel good and the feel great bundles, and you'll see that there is a bank there called Tax Assist. Now, Tax Assist pays us on every click that um, or any recommendations that we send them they pay us on the recommendations. So someone clicks, so we recommend someone clicks, they go to speak to them, we get paid on that recommendation, but they've clicked first. So that's how it works. Not everybody's gonna pay you on the click. Some people are gonna only pay you on the sale. So Nicola says, I've done the website and content webinar would highly recommend. Yes, yeah, so Nicola, have you sat on my content webinar? Let me know if you've sat on my content webinar before, um, because I'm not the only one that delivers them. Several of us deliver them, but we break down for you exactly what you need to do in order to get relevant content out there to reach your ideal clients. So let me know if you've sat on mine. I don't know. OK, so do I need a website? So I'll give you an opportunity to read this. Ah, OK. OK, that's great then. Well, everyone, Nicola's saying that she highly recommends the, um, the content webinar and the website development. It's recommended by Nicola. So if Nicola says it's good, it's got to be good. So Candy says, I attended your content webinar and it was very helpful. Well, that's very good, Candice. So do I need a website? So that's the big question. And a lot of people tend to, um, you know, wonder to themselves, do I need it? Uh, Marie says, can you do affiliate marketing on Instagram? Uh, what we're doing right now today, Marie, it goes across every single social media site. So everything I'm talking about right now you can do this on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on wherever, because it's it's the link that you're promoting, nothing more. So we're saying it's not compulsory, but if you want to increase your sales, I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And it's a home for your business. If anything happens and social media closed down tomorrow, you've still got your website. So this is why I recommend it. So um, Myla says, do you have a webinar for merchants who are searching for affiliates to promote their products? Now, isn't that a good one, Myla? I really like that. I like the sound of that. So the short answer to your question is no. 
Um, but I think it's a really good food for thought. That's a really good food for thought. I really like that. So I'm going to write that down, Myla, um, and look at whether or not that's something, you know, people would be interested in. So having a webinar for merchants who are searching for affiliates. Okay, thank you so much for that. So I would recommend that you have a website. So which platforms are the best platforms to sell on? And you see, when you're promoting the affiliate link, your customers don't know the link doesn't belong to you. Your customers think the links belong to you, but it doesn't. But that's what they think. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So they think it's your business. It's your Well, it is your business, but they think the products and services are yours. And this is why I say you've got to choose something that you can get behind, because once you can get behind it, it, it makes it believable, more believable. So Grace says, I would attend that webinar, Myla. That's really good. I think it's a great idea. A very great idea. So well done for coming up with that idea, Myla. So these are some of the platforms. TikTok's booming, Instagram's booming, YouTube's booming. To be honest, they're all booming. Um, you know, if I was to choose a platform to really sell my links on, I'd go TikTok and Instagram. That's where I'd put them. So Jasmine saying sounds great. So social media, you cannot um, have a link without social media. If you didn't have social media, where would you promote the link? It, you, if you had a shop online, offline, sorry, where would you promote it? You couldn't, there's nowhere to promote it unless you, unless you had an app and an app is online anyway. Um, you know, I used to have an app for my very first business. Um, so if you, did, if you had an app that's online, it would be really hard to promote a link offline. So it's got to be online. So, you know, marketing on social media, um, we, if you're looking at marketing low ticket products, I mean, I've spoken a lot about high ticket products. Uh, maybe if you want to test if this will work for you, you can test low, low ticket products. And the ways to promote these products is through images, through Instagram reels, um, Facebook reels, um, YouTube, and so on. The reels, whatever you're promoting stays up for 24 hours. So can you imagine if you're promoting, I don't know, say makeup, makeup's a great thing to promote. If you're promoting makeup and you showed a before and after picture or how it's done, you're demonstrating how it's done and you put that in the reel and then people see what you looks like, what the person looks like before, and then this amazing transformation and then you've got the links down below. Don't you think people are going to go and buy? I believe that they are. They will. You know, your high ticket items, as I said, um, they must always serve a purpose and they should align with whatever it is your social media is all about. If you're selling high ticket, I have no doubt that you'll be really invested in that product and you've got beliefs in it because it's easy to sell something that you believe in, very easy. So you've just got to decide and ask yourself, right, if you're not sure, start to brainstorm it. Do a circle in the middle of the paper and write affiliate marketing. Put arrows outside of that circle and start writing down what you like. I like the outdoors or I like swimming or I like gymnastics, or I like this. Say what you like. And if, if what you like looks like a lot of it is outside, then obviously your passion is lying outside and you now need to look for an outside product you can get behind. 
So low ticket versus high ticket. Prices are relatively low and affordable. So, you know, the products and the services, um, you know, there's a lot of competitors selling low ticket products. So you've got to decide which one do I want to go for? Well, I like to sell less and earn more. So I don't know. Are you the kind of um, individual that likes to, to sell more and earn less? I don't know. You've got to ask yourself that, that kind of question. But your high ticket items, um, you know, these can be considered holidays, nice luxury holidays, uh, expensive kitchen equipment, um, expensive digital products. Because remember, the more you sell, is the more your commissions. If you're selling something that's going to cost 500, then you need to do a lot of marketing to get people to buy at that price point. People that have got thousands of people following them, selling a 500 pound product won't be a problem because even if you get five selling it, then buying it, sorry, then you've made, you know, a couple and a half, uh, uh, 2,500. So the commission on that would be, um, you know, 1,000 plus, 1,250. That's a nice commission for one day, isn't it? If it's at 50%. So think about whatever it is that you're going to sell. If it's going to be high, you must have all the content, the website, the marketing. Everything must be in place to show people the value of a £500 product. Do I need training or mentoring? Simple answer is no, you don't. All you need to do is to be able to sell. If you don't have any confidence, then you're going to need training in um, confidence. Um, if you don't have any sales knowledge, you probably might need to do some courses on sales. And that's about it, really. Um, you know, so what are the pros and the cons? Um, so here are the pros on the left and here are the cons. So, you know, you're going to save yourself time, but then the cons are you could have increased costs from advertising. So look at the pros and the cons and decide, uh, you know, what if you want to move forward with it. So how will you increase your chances of being successful? Again, that's going to come down to you putting yourself behind a product, educating yourself on that product. If you're using that product, it makes it easier. So if there is a lip gloss that you're using and you want to talk and sell that, uh, talk about and sell that lip gloss because you're using it, you can tell them exactly how it feels. You know, it doesn't crack your lips. It stays on your lips for a long time. It doesn't, um, the shine don't come off quickly. You know, you can talk about the great stuff about that. So there is something uh, called the link in the bio. So there's a lot of people that use Linktree. I don't know if anyone's familiar with Linktree. Um, but up to 35 million people use Linktree for their links in the bio. And it's a great way of having um, your links out there. So you could put your link in your Linktree bio. That's another place where you can hide it, isn't it? So the benefits of your link in the bio, these are the benefits. So for those of you who don't like writing, you can put your links in the bio. Put it in Linktree, but wrap it up and put it in Linktree. And that's how it works. So where to start? You, you know, you've got your ideas. Decide on your niche. So we're just summarizing now. You can complete a business plan. Choose what, pl what platforms you want to use and market your products and services on. Find your relevant niche. Create valuable content and build an audience. 
So we've now come to the end of our webinar. I hope this has been really helpful. If you would like to book an appointment with me for me to do a deep dive and go through your business, I'd be quite happy to do that. So you can contact us right here, info at winter.co.uk, uh, or you can call us on 01438 31020. So you'd come through to the business advisory team and they would book the appointment um, for me. So where you can see, you know, winter.co.uk forward slash training and events, if you were promoting an affiliate link, you could wrap your link up in wording like this. So if you were to click on this, this is going to take you straight to the Wenter site. But if you were promoting something else and you, let's just say you were promoting boxing gloves, you could have here the word boxing gloves and inside of that word, inside of that word is the link that you're promoting. You, people click on it and it leads right out to Boxing Gloves where they can buy it. So that's how you wrap your link up. Your link is wrapped up in a word. Does that make sense? So I hope this has been really um, good for you and useful. And you can now begin to think about what you're going to do. If you hold your mobile phone up, and scan here, you can give feedback in a survey. That would help us very much to know how well we're doing with our webinars and that you can now use the information and run for your business. So I just want to take this time out just to thank those of you. Angelique, thank you so much for being here. Candice, Carl, Deepreet, Grace, thank you so much for being here. Jasmine, Kiri, Marie, Mila, Mila, thank you for that great idea. Um, NG, hello, NG, nice to see you here. Nicholas and V Sharma, thank you so much for being here today and for investing that time in yourself. So thank you to each one of you. I hope you have a great day um, and that we will see you on the next webinar. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you, Mila. Thanks, George. Is it George? Uh, sorry, thanks, Grace. Um, Kiri, Jasmine, Candice, Marie, Myla, all of you. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you on the next webinar. Grace says, very motivating. You're so welcome. Well, put that on the survey, Grace, so that they know. All right. Okay. Have a great day. And I will speak to you all on the next one. Bye-bye.